Hello and welcome back to the Beautiful Things channel. It's been ages since I posted on here officially. I've been away um, in the United States for a couple of weeks with my family. If you follow me on social media, you will have seen that. Um, and while I was away, a couple of videos came up on this channel, but they had been filmed, edited and scheduled to pop up while I was away and to keep you interested and busy. But this is the first official I'm back video um, and I thought I would start by showing you some of the crafty treats that I bought myself while I was in the United States. So I visited Orlando with my family. There was eight of us all together, myself, my husband and the two kids. And we met up with my mother and father-in-law, my brother-in-law and my niece who all live in Australia and they flew in to Orlando to meet us. Now my mother-in-law as you might remember is quite crafty and so one of the days while we were there on holiday everybody else went off to the Kennedy Space Centre and myself and my mother-in-law went craft shopping. So we headed to Joanne's, we headed to Michael's and then we just did a general bit of outlet shopping and fun and frolics. But I'm going to do a separate video of the bits and bobs that I picked up in the outlets for those of you that aren't quite so crafty and might enjoy a few of my designer spoils. So I do have to admit I was incredibly restrained. I could have gone mad but I didn't. I haven't got a lot of projects in mind at the moment. I'm incredibly busy with other things so I didn't want to just buy loads and loads and loads of stash and not have any purpose for it. But what I did get was very nice. So I'm just going to delve into my big bag, my Joanne's bag, um, and show you everything in no particular order. So I'm actually going to start with something that wasn't bought in Joann's and it wasn't bought on that day either but only because it's at the top of the pile. In here is a skein of hand dyed yarn. Now let me tell you the story. Hubby and I had a day just wandering around and we went to a town or an area of Orlando called Celebration. Now Celebration is a really sweet little town. It's a bit Stepford Wives um, and it was made and designed by Walt Disney himself as his idea of the picture perfect town to live in. Um, it's all very white picket fences and perfect. The streets are absolutely scrupulously clean um, and everything as I say is a little bit Stepford Wives. You do kind of expect the people in the shops to turn around and just open and smile and become robots. It's all a bit scary but I stumbled across a little store called Little Thimble. And Little Thimble is a beautiful, beautiful space. It's all white, it's got lovely fabric on one wall, yarn on another, all sorts of pretty haberdashery. Now, because I was just enjoying a day with the family, I didn't film anything, um, so I've got nothing to show you from inside the shop, but I will pop their details down below and their Instagram handle, so go and check out the shop because it's absolutely stunning. Now, one of the ladies who is part and parcel of this particular shop runs Olive and To You, which is a yarn dyeing company. So you can see their card there, Olive and To You. And in the shop, they stock a very small amount of the hand dyed yarn. And this is the skein that I bought myself. So you can see it's pink, it's purple, it's yellow, it's all speckles. It's really, really pretty. Now I have no idea what I'm going to make with this, but I do always like to buy a holiday skein of yarn if I can. Little Miss Mac was with me and she said that this skein reminded her of Rapunzel. You have Rapunzel's purple and pink dress and then the yellow reminds her of all the lanterns that flew up during the Tangled film. So if you haven't seen Tangled, go and see it. This will make perfect sense. So I thought not only is it holiday yarn, but Little Miss Mac thinks that it's Rapunzel themed. Um, it was bought on a trip to Disney. It just couldn't be more perfect. So this will be going into my stash. And thank you very much to the ladies at Little Thimble and Olive and To You for making us feel so welcome in your lovely shop. They're now following me on Instagram so they can see what I do with their yarn. So now I'm going to delve into my bag. Now some of these things were bought at Joanne's, some of them were bought at Michael's, some of them were bought at other places. So I'm just going to tell you where they're from when I pull them out. So the first thing is two sets of these 
Crystallites, Susan Bates crochet hooks. Now, this one's an interesting story. These are not for crocheting with. These have flat bottoms. And these flat bottoms are in different sizes and are absolutely perfect for dotting paint in specific circular sizes. Now, how do I know that? Recently, I did a dot mandala workshop and I painted a gorgeous rock. In fact, I'll go and get it and I'll show you. This gorgeous pebble or stone was painted using a dip technique and the crochet hooks are what I used to do it. Now these hooks are available in the UK from Amazon but they're about 9 99 because they're all imported whereas I bought these in Joann's and I think they were about $3.98 so less than £3. Um, so I picked up two sets one for home and one for here in the studio. Next is some fabric. This is to make a hoodie, I think, for Little Miss Mac. So you can see it's covered in Stitch and Stitch is her favorite Disney character. So I think I'm gonna make her one of those really nice hoodies with the pointy hoods. Um, big chunky kind of collars, um, lots of different patch pockets um, and all sorts of, you know, different things going on. I just need to find the perfect pattern. So if you know of some really quirky hoodie patterns uh, for kids, then please do comment down below. The next piece of fabric I bought is actually a gift and it's for Elspeth, my friend. Now I have given it to her already. She squealed over it and then I took it straight back off her so I could film this video. So I need to give it back to her when I see her again tomorrow. So this again is Jersey. I bought her two meters so that she can make a skater dress. This is one of her favorite colors. You'll see her in this kind of color all the time. She loves alpacas and I thought these super intelligent looking alpacas were right up her street. So this is my holiday gift for her. Next up was just some simple parachute cord. Again we can get this in the UK, it's nothing unusual, but when I saw it in Michaels for a dollar for a whole 6.4 meters it had to be done. This is another silly one, this was Walmart. I bought myself some official duct tape. Now I haven't seen duct tape in bright colors here, I'm sure it is available. Um, but I also know that duct tape is super expensive. Um, even just the black stuff can be quite pricey. And so I would imagine pattern duct tape. I'm sure you can get this in Hobbycraft. But I bet you it's about £4, if not more. This in Walmart was $2.50. So I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. But company colours and all that, I'm sure I'll find a use for it. The next few things are going to be dipped out as prizes and gifts. Um, I picked up not only my big Joann's bag, but I also picked up some of their small bags. Um, they also do this one, which I love, Procrastinating. Oops. Procrastinating, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So I've got a couple of these little knitting ones and a couple of the sewing ones. Um, they're going to be gifts and prizes at the Stitches Social. I picked up loads of these coloured pencils. They're just regular pencils in pastel and rainbow colours. Um, but they have really cool little messages on them like follow your dreams, let your light shine, work hard and be kind, um, create beauty around you. All the sorts of things that I kind of agree with and empathise with. And then on the pastel ones you've got make a plan, you've got this you're on point, get it together, and um, various other things. So these are packs of 10 pencils. Um, and again, I'm gonna split those up and put them into little prize packs and just give them as gifts. They were just nice, quirky little things they had in the dump bins as you were leaving Michael's. This one's gonna make you laugh. Little Miss Mac loves YouTube and she loves to watch other children doing other things. But one of the things she loves the most is watching a good craft tutorial. Now, she had seen a craft tutorial to make miniature Starbucks cups for her American Girl dolls or her 18-inch girl dolls. I'll pop a picture of it up here. This is what she wanted to create. Now, everything in this tutorial is purchased from Dollar Tree or a craft store. So she was 
absolutely desperate to go to Dollar Tree. It's just a pound shop at the end of the day, or a dollar shop, but she had to go to Dollar Tree and she was specifically needed to get all of the materials that were on her list. And one of those things was communion cups. Now I'd never heard of these before, but they are like little plastic shot glasses. I don't think that's gonna show up very well, but a little pack of little plastic shot glasses. And they are the main thing that you need to make your Starbucks cups. Now the bowl that sits on top of them is actually a clear plastic Christmas ball ball, but they are very specific measurement. And it doesn't matter how hard I looked in both Michael's, Joanne's and Hobby Lobby, I couldn't find the right size plastic balls. So we didn't get them while we were there but I'm pretty sure Mr Amazon will help me out. Not very exciting for you but for little Miss Mac she's over the moon to have her communion cups. Last thing that I bought from Joann's was some buttons. I don't need buttons, I have no need for them whatsoever. I think what I'm actually going to do is snap the backs off some of these and put pin backs on them and turn them into pin badges but I couldn't resist these gorgeous garden gnomes. They're so adorable. As I say, they think they're about a couple of dollars at the most. I bought these little sewing ones as a prize for the Stitcher Social. So you've got a little sewing machine, thimbles, scissors, and cotton reels. These little frogs, just because they were too cute to pass up, they just look so happy. And then I bought myself in a souvenir shop some Disney pins. I've got Minnie here and I do have a Mickey as well, but he is missing in action at the moment. Probably still in one of my bags and they will end up on my project bags. And then I bought three little charms. Now I'm going to use these as stitch markers and progress keepers for my knitting and crochet, but they're absolutely gorgeous. This one is a little gumball machine. How adorable is that? It's absolutely gorgeous and it actually has real little balls inside it that move around. I love that. This one is also super cute. It's a little alpaca with a little diamond nose and diamonds on his rug, which I think is really sweet. And then I also picked up this adorable little cactus in a pot, which I thought was really lovely. And last but not least, I acquired a, another pin badge from my bag, which is actually an American Airlines flight crew pin. There you go, so I can't really get that to focus all that well because it's mirrored so it will pick up everything in my camera. But I was very jammy in acquiring that one. Um, we flew British Airways um, and because there isn't a British Airways lounge at the airport in Orlando, we use the American Airlines lounge um, Husband travels lots, we get to use lounges, very lucky. So we went there, they were absolutely superb, they let the kids in as well and as part of the children's entry package they got given these little flight pins and Thomas very kindly gave his to me because he didn't want it. So who am I to say no to a gift for mother? Um, so that's gonna go on my project bag too. So I'm sure you will agree, I was actually really, really restrained. I didn't go too mad. Um, I do find when you're shopping with other people that you're always constantly conscious that you're spending too long looking at things or um, you're taking your time and maybe that person wants to, to move on at a different speed to you or you're worried you're gonna lose them somewhere in the shop. So I never truly relax when I'm crafty shopping with someone else. Um, I am looking forward to going again when I go to Arizona at Easter um, and I know a couple of you who watch this are going to meet up with me hopefully take me for a coffee and show me the fabric shops and the craft shops I haven't been to a Hobby Lobby yet so I'd be interested to try one of those so if you are one of my Arizona crew then please comment down below and remind me so that we can hook up and get in touch in plenty of time to arrange something when I'm there this Easter Anyway, that's all I've got to show you. There'll be more videos coming up on the channel in the next few weeks, other things that I've bought while I was in the States, and also some of the things that I'm gonna start getting made now to share with you. So I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button. I'm really, really close to hitting 5,000, and I'd really like to get there soon. It won't be long, and I can finally start climbing up the ranks. It's a long, long time until I get that 
that silver play button but that is my ambition so please subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up pop some comments down below i do my best to reply to all my comments if i can and i will see you again really soon thanks for watching bye